Hello everyone, thanks for joining my channel. It is Rocky. Today is a super exciting day. Um, I gotta take you back a little bit. I don't know if you remember, I did um, a video about my birthday. I did a girls trip um, out in Galena, Illinois. And during that girls trip, my friends all showered me with a gifts and a surprise birthday party. And I did a video, which I will try to pop here, of all the gifts that I received. And in that list was a really special gift from a good friend of mine uh, from a place called Waft. Waft is, um, and I don't know if you can, you probably cannot see that very well, so I am going to do, let's do uh, you my infamous cutaways here. Um, I'm going to do a cutaway. Uh, Waft is a um, perfume company of, you know, people who make the nicer, the, the more expensive, fancy brands that you are used to seeing in the stores, but this is unbranded. And so these people who have special noses, go ahead and uh, give you a survey. You just, you kind of give them what your scent profile is, what you like. Unfortunately, you can't put what you don't like, but you just put what you like. And um, they come up with a unique scent just for you. Um, I got this as a gift and I decided to try it because I am just now starting to get into scents. I mean, I've always worn stuff, but it was always just kind of like whatever. Whatever smelled good. Um, Victoria's Secret Body Splash was just good enough. <laughs> um, my soap and my lotion was perfecto. So um, I am just now really getting into fragrances. And so my girlfriend knows that and she decided to get me this gift. So it's um, pretty affordable in my opinion if uh, if the, what they tout about the finest ingredients being used, then this is a really good deal. Um, you get um, like three bottles of perfume. You get a 95 millimeter and then milliliter, sorry, <laughs> and then two smaller roller ball scents. And I don't even know, I forget how what the size is on those two. Um, you get to personalize your bottle and all that good stuff. Um, so for me, I filled out a scent profile. I remember exactly what I put in there. Rose was the main scent that I liked, but then they ask you like to pick a few others. They, they say the best way to get the best scent is to pick at least three fragrances. So I picked Rose, I picked Powder, and I picked Vanilla. And then you kind of, you know, submit that and it goes do 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 and it comes up with like this scent profile, right? So, um, each time that I tried it, 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 it kind of told me the, the hints or the notes or that they were gonna use in my scent and I hated every combination. Rose is the main smell that I wanted and several of the times that I retried doing it, Rose wasn't even on the list of scents that was gonna be used in my um, perfume. So I contacted support for help and I'm like, hey, gave him a screenshot, like, listen, I really hate everything that you've put together. I really love rose. I want that to be the main scent. You can mix some other things in there, but I want rose to be the main scent. And they're like, oh, I see your confusion. You think that because it came up on this picture, that's what we're gonna use. And I'm like, yeah, that's logical, right? And they're like, no, that's not how it works. That's just like a sample or example the noses will come up with something for you, blah, blah, blah. So I said, listen, how can I share with you what I hate so that you don't put those things in there? And they're like, just tell us and we'll pass it along. So I told them I didn't want anything citrusy, I didn't want anything fruity, and I don't like earthy tones, earthy smells like sandalwood or musky things. I just, just really particular about those things. So like, perfect, we'll send that along. We would like to caution you that we don't like customize it like that where you can pick exactly what's in there, but we will share this with your noses so that they will be influenced by what you said. And I'm like, perfect, good. So I get the perfume in the mail today. I'm super excited. And the first thing that you see when you open it is um, a ba basically a thank you letter from them and it lists the key ingredients. I opened mine up and it says raspberry, which is fruit. <laughs> it says rose, which I like. Pink pepper, I have no idea what that smells like, so let's roll with it, okay. Um, amber, I know what amber smells like, I actually like it. Even though it is a musky, a musk type smelling, but it's very soft, I could deal with amber. Sandalwood, I hate. 
So um, there are two things that I don't like in the, in the scent profile and one thing that's questionable, I have no idea what it smells like. So I was like, kind of had my disappointed hat on before I even smelled it because I saw these ingredients and they didn't match what I asked for. So I just decided, okay, I'll try it anyway. So I sprayed it on and, you know, immediately recognized that there's not, there's zero hints of rose in this. I smell nothing, no rose. Um, so that's very disappointing. So I think that the, they led with the other scents and put rose in the background, which is very disappointing. Um, so I sprayed it on and I was, you know, again, with my disappointed hat, I decided I did not like it. But as I let it sit for a little while, I was like, okay, a scent in and of itself sitting on its own, it's not a bad scent. It's not me. It smells very mature, like someone in their 60s, late 60s would wear something like this. So it's a very mature scent. If I saw a very mature, sophisticated woman, you know, dressed very classically and very well, you know, I would expect to smell something like this on her. But that's not me right now. So for me, the scent is not right. However, I will give this another shot tomorrow. I will put this on, because I already had my own scent on from earlier, my own lotions, my own perfume, or whatever the case may be. I'm gonna start with a clean palette, put this on tomorrow and see if I like it. Um, but I have a, <laughs> bad to say I have a feeling I'm not gonna like it so but the good thing about it is that you are able to return it if you don't like it so we'll see I'll keep you posted then they have these other two small roller balls I actually quite like these um, the very first one here it's intensify and it's very light florally um, very feminine I, I actually quite like this it's not it's not rose floral, but it's some kind of floral, and I actually quite like it. Um, I think that you're supposed to layer these on, these two little roller balls, because they call them layer one and layer two, but I'm not 100% sure. And then the other one um, is very, um, I want to say very smooth, powdery kind of smelling, and I really love the smell of, of this. These two roller balls are awesome. I wish there was a way that I could you know, keep these two roller balls and then give them the main scent back. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how this turns out. I don't know what the process is. Uh, but again, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna try with the fresh clean palette. We'll see how it works <laughs> and I'll let you know. So that's it for today. I just wanted to give you a quick update on my gift, the waft. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a great concept. I think they need to balance the survey with both things you love and things you hate so that they could come somewhere in the middle with something unique for you. But that's my only feedback. But we'll see if I change my mind tomorrow. Once I wear this on a clean palette, I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any comments down below. Share it with your friends, hit the like button. Bye.